and welcome back. I'm Natalie MacDonald and you're watching Dukascopy TV. Talking Portugal and peripheries, I'm joined now by Lorne Baring, who is Managing Director of B Capital. Lorne, thank you so much for popping in and seeing us. My pleasure. Now, you've recently commented on the weakness of the Portuguese stock market. As Banquo's sort of continue to bubble there, as it were, can you give us an overall picture? Yep, it really surrounds Banco Espiritu Santo, which is getting itself into a bit of a tangle. Uh, there's a debt problem. There's also a problem with the parent unit, which owns about 25% of the stock. Uh, the parent unit is based in Luxembourg, and recently regulators there have started an investigation after some audit irregularities. And the stock has fallen sharply today and sharply all through this year. If we consider this as part of you know, European peripheral markets overall. Is this a warning signal that we perhaps shouldn't be becoming so overly positive on these peripheral markets? I think that what it tells you is that there's a need to be selective. Um, banks in general are regarded as a bit of an option on the economy. Economy does well, banks do very well. Economy does badly, banks do relatively more badly. So it's a bit like a derivative. But in this case, particularly in Europe, not all banks are the same. And what we've seen in Portugal is this particular bank has fallen all through the year and has done very badly. But over the last year, a similar bank, Banco Comercial Portuguese, BCP, has done really well. In fact, if you'd held BCP shares in the last year, you'd have doubled your money. While as with BES, you'd have lost about 10%. Do these concerns over Portugal then begin to favour neighbouring Spain and Italy then alternatively? Well, I think that the peripheral story has been very popular and done really quite well. Uh, Spain has a more broad-based uh, recovery compared to Italy, but it has a very high unemployment figure, almost double the unemployment of Italy. So again, it's very patchy across Europe and there's a real need to be selective. You mentioned sort of the popularity of these peripheral markets. Are investors starting to move on from that really? Are they kind of over these peripheral European markets in your view? I think there's still quite a lot of room for growth in Southern Europe and the peripheral Europe markets. However, there is still just a need to be selective. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your insight with us. Thank you. My pleasure. That's all we've got time for right now, but do stay tuned to Ducoscopy TV, where we'll be keeping you up to date on this story and many more. Goodbye for now.